In this video, I will show you how to solve this IBHO math question. A and B are acute angles such that cosine A is 2 thirds and sine B is 1 third. Show that cosine of 2A plus B is equal to this equation. What can be helpful to do first in this situation is to find equations that can be simplified further. For example, this third given can be simplified into an equation only containing uh, arguments of A and B. This can be done if we look into the IB formula booklet. On page 7, we find these compound angle identities that can be used to simplify this equation. We can use the second identity involving cosine. We can make A in this situation equal to 2A and B will remain B. And we will have the plus sign, so we will use the minus in the identity. This means that we can rewrite this equation like this. Cosine 2a plus b is equal to cosine of 2a times cosine of b minus sine 2a sine b. All I did was replace the arguments a and b with the correct and corresponding arguments um, in the given. Afterwards, we need to use the other givens, which is that cosine A and sine B are equal to these numbers, and substitute them into this equation. To actually get to the answer that the question is asking us to do, we have to find the numerical values of cosine 2A, cosine B, and sine 2A and sine B. To find cosine 2a, we can use another identity found in the formula booklet. We can rewrite the cosine double angle identity with a instead of theta. We can replace cosine of 2a with uh, 2 cosine squared a minus 1, and we will use this identity because we know that cosine a is 2 thirds, as this is what we were given. So it's easy to replace um, the expressions with numerical values. What we end up with is that cosine 2a's numerical value is minus 1 ninth. Next, we need to find the numerical value of cosine b. We can start with what we know. We know that sine b is equal to 1 third from the given. Next, we can use the Pythagorean identities. So we can square both sides to get sine squared b is equal to 1 ninth. We can then use the formula booklet Pythagorean identity that cosine squared plus sine squared is a 1. And we can rearrange this equation to get sine squared of something is equal to 1 minus cosine squared something. That means we can rewrite sine squared b as 1 minus cosine squared b. Once we rearrange the equation a little bit, we get cosine b is equal to 2 square root of 2 over 3. Next, to find sine 2a, we need to use another double angle identity. We can rewrite it as 2 sine a cosine a. Immediately, we can replace cosine a with a numerical value of 2 thirds. Now we just need to find sine a. We can use the process, the same process that we used for finding cosine b, by using the Pythagorean identity. We start with a given cosine a is 2 thirds. We square both sides. We get cosine squared a is equal to 4 over 9. We replace that with 1 minus sine squared a is equal to 4 ninths. And we get sine a is equal to square root of 5 over 3. So we can rewrite sine 2a as 2 times square root of 5 over 3, which is sine a, times 2 thirds. 
This is equal to 4 square root of 5 over 9. The last step is to replace all of the expressions with the numerical values to get the final answer. So we know cosine 2a is minus 1 ninth. Cosine b is 2 square root of 2 over 3. Sine 2a is 4 square root of 5 over 9. And sine b is 1 third. After simplification, we get the answer that was asked of us in the question. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video helped you understand how to solve this question better.